millions of people, owning an apartment in Hong Kong is simply a pipe dream. But I'm going to show you one architect's vision that may just make this pipe dream become a reality. Literally. The O-Pod is a 100 square foot home made out of two concrete water pipes, the brainchild of architect James Law. I came across this idea one day when I was on a construction site and I saw a lot of these big concrete water tubes left over on the site. And I walked into one of them and I was really surprised. I thought, wow, they're pretty big. Wouldn't it be kind of cool and funky if I could you know, get some of these tubes for a very low price and convert it into an experimental house and see what people will respond to it? I'm going to be staying in the O-Pod overnight to see if someone could actually live here. So this little studio has come decked out with a shower and a toilet. This is the first build and it's so the public can come walk through, which means the plumbing hasn't been connected yet. Hong Kong's housing prices have soared 430%, making it one of the world's least affordable cities. A family earning 38,000 US dollars per year before tax would have to save all their salary for about 18 years to afford the median home price of 700,000 US dollars. That would only get them a 500 square foot flat in many areas of the city. Some families have resorted to extreme measures to find affordable housing, living in so-called coffin homes, which can be as small as 25 square feet. The O-Pod is about four times that size. I'm just making uh, an instant noodle dinner right now. As you can see, it's a very small kitchen. You've got a microwave uh, and a small refrigerator and sink. So I thought the easiest one to make was just some noodles and some veggies to go along with it. It won't have a cooker because Maybe young people anyway don't cook. They just buy takeaway, they do the reheating, and that's fine, and that would be a kitchen. So it's an excuse for making a very small kitchen. Uh, we can actually convert this into a bed. Uh, at the front of the sofa, just lift it up, very simple. And then you can pull out um, a set of legs, rotate them round, and then this uh, mattress can be slid down like this and then we just reposition these oh, wow. cushions and there we go, bed. voila, you have a, wow. you have a bed. Wow, that's very easy. So I'm going to start heading to bed soon. It's gotten pretty cold, it's still about 8 degrees outside. In here it's looking like it's 11, 11 degrees at the moment. I've got my very, very warm hot water bottle and also some very kind people at work have given me an emergency blanket. I really made the old part as a little piece of inspirational creativity, which I hope to be um, creating a kind of optimistic look at the problem, experimenting with novel ideas that tackle some of the things that they are facing. Staying at the O-Pod has actually been a lot of fun. It's very cosy but still surprisingly spacious and I have no doubt that this could be used as a temporary solution for people to come in before they move on to their permanent home. But it is quite small and I would say that maybe living in here up to one month or two months is the limit. That's me done for the day. See you later.